Hello little bells, it's Gabrielle. So today I have a video and it is going along with the trans videos because that's basically what my channel is focused on. This is kind of something that my, people might get mad at, but this video is basically questions that you may ask when you think you're being supportive, but they can actually come off as very insulting and very rude. So right into it. The first question is, I would have never known you were transgender. You're so pretty. From the person saying it, it might seem like a compliment, but to the trans community, it's not really a compliment. It puts pressure on other people who might not pass as well. And the reason I do pass is because I don't really believe in passing. I believe in looking whatever way you want. But in society, there is this pressure for trans women to pass as female. And when you're saying to someone, I would have never known you were transgender, you're so pretty. It's making these other trans women think like, the, oh wow, that person doesn't even look transgender. And then they start to think, what does transgender even look like? And do I pass or do I not pass? So I think that's something that you really have to be cautious about and how you word things. And just remember that there's no look for what it means to be transgender. There's no look that a transgender person has. It's disrespectful to say that. And I'm sorry if that comes off as bitchy because you're giving someone a compliment, but it's just the way it is. And like the same with you look just like a real woman. But what does a real woman look like? Are you talking about society standards or... Because last time I checked, women and men don't look like anything. We've made up the image of what women need to look like and what men need to look like. Personally for myself, I love makeup. I like, I want to grow my hair long and I like dresses, but that's just me. And that doesn't mean that because someone identifies as female that they have to love dresses, they have to love doing their hair, they have to love makeup. They can or, you know, they can be whoever they want to be. But don't say, oh, you look just like a real woman. Because really, a real woman is every woman. Anyone who identifies as a woman is a real woman. And if some people disagree with that, then you can go ahead and disagree with it, but this is my opinions and these are my thoughts and if you don't agree with them, then that's all on you and that's great for you, but these are my thoughts. And another question, or another, it's not necessarily a question, but it's a remark and um, it goes to a lot of cis women who say this. They say, oh, you're so lucky you don't have a period. And I don't know the struggle of a period. And when people say that, I kind of wish that I did know what it was like because it kind of just makes my dysphoria worse and makes me feel like, oh my god, what the f is wrong with me? Like, why don't I have a period? You know what I mean? It kind of just makes me think thoughts that I shouldn't have to be thinking. I shouldn't have to be making these thoughts about myself that are making me feel worse about myself. So just remember that not all women get periods, but that doesn't mean they're not women. And with periods comes giving birth and having children. And that was something that I always dreamed about when I was younger. And when people say that, it's kind of like, oh wow, I'm never gonna be able to do that. I'm never gonna be able to experience that. And it's bittersweet, absolutely. So just be cautious and around some trans people or just for the sake of the community. Don't always talk about periods. It's not really that cool to talk about because not all women get periods. But thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate all your support and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.